So, bit of a treat. Shard. Shard. You all know Shard. Yeah. Uh, said, how cool would it be to get jerseys made? And I thought this would be, like, we just order jerseys online. Maybe we we'll just buy all the same one as a generic pattern. But this guy has different ideas for Tour de Shadow, of course. So, why? where are we? And why are we here? So, we're, we're, we're at the house of my wonderful friend, Ricardo, and his lovely uh, wife, uh, Lauren. Um, and this is their lab. This is a lab where wonderful things happen. This is this is Aladdin's cave for <laughs> jerseys. And um, there's a backstory to this. So I've been fortunate enough to ride with Ricardo. He's a uh, beautiful human being. And on these rides, he started talking to me about jerseys. We started talking about jerseys and making jerseys and these things. And before I knew it, Ricardo had gone away and he bought different bits of equipment. Um, and so he took, he, he, I was very impressed with him because he had an idea and he took the idea and turned it into a reality. And I think people that know me know that I'm always impressed with people that have a go, uh, very much the Australian way. So he's had a go. And then he started discuss discussing with us the ethos of what this jersey was about. Lauren is an environmental scientist. Uh, the good people and so they were doing good things with the jersey it's made of environmentally friendly materials um, it's got uh, non-toxic ink uh, there's a sustainability story to the whole thing so it's just a beautiful story it's a local business uh, we I think we're their first customers Yes, you are. You are Beautiful. the first customer. Um, <laughs> and Proudly first customer. And, and, and I think what talks... And, and the Tours of Chateau is, is a bespoke event. Um, and we wanted a beautiful bespoke journey, jersey. Um, and we ended up with a beautiful bespoke jersey. This is, this is our tour jersey. We've just seen it. We are just in love with it. Um, it has the Tours de Chateau emblem. Um, it's got some sponsorship on there. Uh, it's got an Easter egg on it. And it's made out of remarkable Italian fabrics. So there are just lots of love that's gone into this. Now, what's also really surprising is we were literally here six days ago over dinner talking about this jersey. And within six days, we have the first jersey. So it talks to the research that these lovely people have put into their business. It talks to the design philosophy and it's exactly what we imagined. It's not, you know, it's, it's not an interpretation. It's exactly what we imagined. So to tell you that we're delighted would be a serious understatement. So this video is a little raw because I literally just followed you around <laughs> your, your lab. Uh, yes. Uh, you know, just to get an understanding, we're all here, the, half the TDC crew is getting measured up for their jerseys, just to get an understanding of what it looks like. It, it's been a lot of fun. So I'm gonna put all of that after this little section, but I just wanna say thanks for explaining it. I love the, the design concepts you've got. I really love that there's an environmental <laughs> angle, which we, we talk about in a little bit. And uh, to you, old mate, thanks for uh, shouting us some jerseys, because uh, this guy's paying for them, right, right? <laughs> Thanks for coming. Thanks, for Thanks so much. Us. Thank you. Thank you, guys. This whole testing uh, is when I was learning actually how to make a jersey. You know. Awesome. <laughs> and this is where the magic happened. Oh wow! So this is my humble laboratory at home. Here we have the giant Epson where we print all the design. The sun come out from here. We cut the piece of paper like this and then uh, you put the fabrics under a press this is 192 degrees and you press it for 90 seconds and it comes wow. on top of the of the fabrics and this one there is no way that you can remove this color because it's permanently so this is amazing all the ink that we use, water-based Epson ink. So there is no cheap stuff here. 
Epson. And here we have industrial sewing machine. We have the overclocker, the digital Juki, and the digital can, cover. Can you turn the Juki on? Because the Juki talks. I, I, I <laughs> disengaged the function. Did you kill the Juki? <laughs> oh, no, I, no, no, I no, killed the Juki. Juki can talk. Okay, okay, the no, Juki can talk. Juki. I love Juki talking. <laughs> Just a second. Because this actually blew my mind. A sewing machine that talks to you. Just what you want in the morning at 5 o'clock. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Look forward to working with you. <laughs> it's alright, it's alright, baby. It's a hassle. Data was fixed. Okay. Thank you for your hard work. Turn us on, turn us on. Okay. Turn us on. Hello, March 7th, Tuesday. I will do my very best to assist you in any way I can. Let's do our best. Yeah! <laughs> so how much extra does it cost for your uh, sewing machine uh, to have a personality? Ah, uh, that's a personality. <laughs> you can even put the slang, the Queensland slang, you know? Uh, <laughs> that's brilliant. <I> <laughs> So, so take me through this. So someone wants a jersey, they, they need a design. So they need a design. First we have some design, uh, which are classic and some a little bit more eccentric. Yeah. Uh, but then from then, you know, the, the limit is your imagination, right. basically. So we have fabrics, white, ready to be, you know, uh, printed. We print here, we do the design, we print, we cut the fabrics, we, um, we sublimate, we cut, and then we put everything together, and it started from uh, here. Ah, also, one thing that you haven't seen is the gripper. Again. Italian, so this is a silicon gripper, which can be sublimated, so this can take the color of the fantasy of the jersey, and it's really good. Again, not Chinese, but Italian, Reci uh, made from recycled material as well, and it comes in roll, so it's very nice, and it works very well. So you end up with a lot of different fabrics. You've got different fabrics for the front and the back, the sides, you have the gripper, so you're dealing with a custom design Correct. you're then dealing with a custom size yes you're then dealing so you have to adjust the design for the size yes you then print on multiple different fabrics Correct. onto paper sorry you print onto paper In the paper is yeah. only a single printed but right. then you sublimate on three different fabrics right great part got it so this is pretty complicated so i want a design you agree on the design you print the design on the Epson, adjusting it for the different sizes. Correct. You then have to then cut the fabric for the size. Correct. Sublimate, is that what you call it? Sublimate. Sublimate on the, on the heating, what do, what do you call this thing? Like a heat, heat press? Heat, heat press, press. cool. Yes. And then after all that, you then need to use a selection of machines to stitch it all together. Exactly, and the total of the pieces is, depend of which model you have, woman or man, it's between 23 and 26. Pieces. 26 for, pieces for a single jersey. Uh, so it's Which, Unreal. Why is there an odd number? <laughs> 23 or 26? Because it's the way that the, design, that the model is designed. And Ricardo, tell us a little bit about your logo and the zipper with the logo. Because this is the <laughs> bit that actually blew my mind. So, so Ricardo has a wonderful logo. But he also has a zipper with the Actually, I tell you why. Now that I remember, because we have eliminated, you know, in the pocket inside, so you should have two pieces of fabric, one and two to create a pocket. What we actually came up with a different design is that we eliminate one layer and we have a full room of pocket and we divided the compartment in two. So you have a zipper you, that enter directly into a compartment and there is only one layer to divide both. So now you have actually a more roomy zipper without stitching. That's why it's because the odd <laughs> number. Uh, the logo, a gorilla. So this is your logo? Correct. It's a gorilla. That's awesome. <laughs> why the gorilla? That's so good. That's a great question. Love it. Uh, we actually choose, uh, we wanted an animal memo. Help me here. Um, actually, we, at the beginning, we were thinking to have just our initials in the brand or... Like books. this one, RCC. Yes. But then it was Rafa 
already taken the RCC essay. And then I start to tell Kuriki why we don't why we don't try to find an animal that represent uh, like a brand or you know like a powerful animal and some something that people say oh look that's the gorilla that's the brand you know rather than a rcc or a word or something like that and we start looking for different logos and checking online and we we found that gorilla and i start to read about gorillas and all these uh, powerful things that they do and I feel like oh that's that's a nice one and also because that gorilla has these uh, shapes like mountains, mountains you know so it was even nice and even it has an A like the shape of the A it's so that's show. why we like it yes. uh, yeah. that's why we have a gorilla <laughs> and if you like eccentric I give you a gorilla eccentric yes <laughs> yes look at that that's fantastic if you like a gorilla with colorful. That's now, unreal. Many of our design to differentiate us, you will find that on the crazy design, you have a contrast here, half side and half side. We call the design on the back, and also the sleeve that alternate. Yes. Okay. But yes, so we can try multiple combination. If you are a racer, you can have the neck uh, thinner and uh, two big pockets. So you can put your all your stuff or the normal tree pocket, but the jersey is absolutely sunny. And also, also the fabric, no? You yeah. can have just one of the fabrics. If you ah, say, yeah, I don't want three of them, or you, know, you like, can mix I and match the fabrics. This as you three like. or the other one, you can decide. Also, the the length of the sleeves because I was seeing you guys last time. You say ah, it's too long, but not, last time Matthew said, no, I like long. I don't like short, so. And then our friends Alejandro say he doesn't like, but the cycling industry is moving on the long sleeve. And if you and then I went and check on the website, and they say, ah, actually, my designer was right. <laughs> the industry is moving on the long sleeve. Yeah. So yes, we we leave the uh, the choice, but uh, it looks good anyway. You can have a cut or just a little bit more refined, depending on uh, how you like your end. And uh, yes, it's all uh, extremely refined jersey and colorful. So colorful. Look at that. That's if you, awesome. If you are more eccentric. Is, or, is, are those the mountains of Colombia? Yes. This, or you can have something a little bit more classic. The Bianchi color. Some yellow. Uh, we do have few other classic like this one is interesting we try to get the different material in front running some experiment but the wine color is actually really good for this class. like the old uh, gym suit from Adidas 1960 yes. I really like that yes. you know? mm -hmm. Very uh, nice. green Australian colors. Yeah, I was thinking more on the Jaguar on the 60s, you know, green and yellow yeah. pressing, but then I realized hey, this is even Australian color, you know, <laughs> <laughs> actually, but it's really good and it works, you know, it works really well. And then we have woman and man, uh, multiple design for woman as well, which still follow the pattern, you know, of the uh, con contrast, which is quite unique and then you have your gorilla you got your pocket every single jersey has a pocket and a little detail that no one does we put our gorilla on the zipper oh, that's so cool that is just so cool that's a just that a touch that because they say you are a nerd of the <laughs> 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 just say and yes it's uh, basically that's us this is a, another fantastic design very unusual that I, I love if you are a little bit someone that likes something different if you want to stand out you know it's like something from the ocean yeah and this is actually probably Shad you will recognize this that's my jersey but in a different way yeah. with a contrast but yeah that's your jersey beautiful and yeah so I think I think when I met met Ricardo and started learning about his work, I just fell in love with the concept of somebody having so much passion for what he was doing. 
Um, and the product's excellent. I mean, I was fortunate enough to get one for my 50th birthday, hand delivered, handwritten note. It was just that fantastic experience. Um, and given the eco-friendly credentials as well, I think it's just a fantastic product. Well, let's talk about that. There's a eco-friendly recycled plastics. What's the story? What's the material and what's the sustainability angle that you're, you're looking for? Okay, so when Ricky told me about that idea, I told him, okay, I will be with you, but if all the fabrics and most of the stuff is environmentally friendly. So at the beginning he was like, mm, no, that's too expensive. And say, okay, just go to do your stuff. And then he said, okay, let's start, let's start to find all of these things. And we start to check uh, first China. And then, yeah, they have uh, recyclable materials and all of these, but then we found these Italian fabrics, which are fantastic. And then we start to check all these, uh, and they say that all these fabrics are made from bottles, recyclable bottles from the sea, most of them. So that's why I wanted to go with them. And also the elastics are made from recyclable materials. Uh, the threads, not yet, but we are on the way to find those threads as well to be, of course, environmentally friendly. Mm. Other thing that uh, we want to achieve is, I don't know how, but uh, all this paper that we print, uh, I need to find a way how to 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 use some, somehow. I don't know because I need to investigate first the, the, the materials because one way that I was thinking was uh, we could use all this paper for these places where they have animals and they need to have paper, uh, just this newspaper, whatever. I don't know if we can bring that paper, that would be fantastic, but first I need to check. And um, Also the ink, ink is water-based, so that's, that's great. Uh, what else? Yes, my goal is uh, in the near future if we can start to help with some of these foundations or things with animals and also help kids in need if it's not here because of course we are in a country that is very fortunate but there are many places where you need to help kids or so that's another of the ideas but we are trying to achieve uh, this GICA label but to achieve this you need to, to comply with a lot of things, all these recyclable materials, all these uh, uh, carbon, I forgot the word in English. Um, footprints? Yeah, the footprints and all of these things. So let's see, we are in the way to achieve this, but the fabrics, all of them are made from recyclable materials. Unreal. So basically your jersey was floating around the ocean. Yeah. It's been scooped up, yeah. transformed, brought here, created and printed. And if that wasn't enough, you're also thinking about your carbon offset for actually transporting all the materials. Correct. Unreal. And I think one, one last thing that I'm sure that these lovely people have thought about is the emblem itself also, the, your logo of the gorilla, is also very important because they're an endangered species. And the more you do for the environment, the better it is for the gorillas. So, even the even the emblem or your logo has an environmental component to it. Yeah, true. Absolutely. Well, should uh, we measure some people? Shall we me measure or <laughs> should we first see the uh, the reveal? Yeah, the reveal. Okay, go. You want to bring a it. model? It's in the back. I'm so super excited about this. Okay. <laughs> that. Thank you, my friends, this, for doing this. This, super these are actually nice, They're but beautiful. the jersey that is bringing now, <laughs> it is something superb. I think. Yes. I really, not really, I really, really like it. Yeah, it was, it was, um, it was amazing. What a couple of beers and some nice pasta came with. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I love this pasta. It's not beautiful. The color mix in that is just and and I printed that just to check the level of details, you know, that you can reach on a uh, if you want on a fabrics. That's very hard to reach, you know, with a Chinese or something or with a printer that is not Epson because you don't have the ultra um, HD chromatic scale, you know. 
So you can pray, print just basically 2D vector. No, you cannot go to the 3D or to HD images. Well, this one, it's, it's just amazing. And here it is. The grand reveal. The grand reveal, wow. Da, 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 da. You can open it down, what? Nice color. Here it is. I love it. We have all the places where you guys are going to ride for this lovely uh, call. That is for the for cancer, isn't it? Yes. Cancer yes. research. Yes. For Peter Mac Foundation. Yep. Superb work, guys. That is just gorgeous. I am nice. just. So we have the red thread here. The stitches. The red stitching. Yeah. We've got the tricolor. And can you reveal the the wonderful piece? The wonderful piece. The surprise. Is the surprise. Each one of you guys will have your name with your flag. Yeah. Wow. Oh, oh. Personalize it. Yes. Fantastic. And so, the Easter egg. Ah, the Easter egg. Yeah. And there's an Easter egg. There is an Easter egg. And it's the castle of the chateau. That's so good. Fantastic. How cool is that? Unreal. <laughs> and. For the first time, this is the first jersey where we have actually stitched also the cover of the zipper. Nice. That which is, is even more comfortable now to wear. Yeah. 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 So you have a soft material between yeah. you and the zipper. And the zipper, correct. And look at the level of the stitches inside. It's just really good. Well, wow, it's very fine. I just think this is just uh, Lauren and uh, Ricardo. This is a fabulous piece of work. It's gorgeous. I think this is a very, very, very nice jersey. I'm actually emotional. It's, <laughs> it's very nice. And when I saw it, I say, we did something very good with this jersey. Yeah, it's beautiful. And yeah. We wanted to make sure that the front wasn't too crowded because mm -hmm. then it gets a bit gory. Yeah. yeah. I love this red stitch, it's like you're in a Ferrari or a Aston Martin with the, <laughs> with the stitching. Last time. That's, sure. that's just a gorgeous uh, idea. But the, there are lots of details, the cold's got a little mountain on it. That was something we came up jointly with the Zoom call. Um, and I just think you've done a fabulous job, it's beautiful, thank this you. This is fantastic. Yeah. And it would be fantastic to ride. Oh yes, we're looking forward to it. Well, when you design the 2024 and 2025, we'll have to take, <laughs> take you with us. I'm looking forward. Oh, this is fabulous. Thank you. Yeah, and now, look, this one needs to be obviously washed it like for six or seven minutes because the, you will see that the, everything will come back together. Yes. And then uh, when you iron, you know, this is uh, still, uh, I would call it 95%. Then when you wash it for the first time before I give it to you guys, that's become really uh, all together. But even like this, you can see that it, it enhances the color more yeah. after washing, it is, does it? It is, yeah, this is like this is just pressed. On the fabrics and everything, it's yeah. a bit more like It comes together. Thank okay. you guys, it's, it's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Great work, man. Yeah. Thank Phenomenal. You. This is uh, a work of love. Yes. yes. <laughs> Thank you. Now we just need to make the other one, but... Yes. You will, let's, let's measure the guys. The, the objective here is to make a jersey that you are not going to use only once, that you you will use with pride. Absolutely. That's another thing. So those uh, materials are to use like as much as you can, no? You can wash and wash and wash and then you can use and use and use and use. And it's not something that you, you need to say, oh, okay, you know, that's come on of use and that's it. Mm -hmm. So that's something very important for us, like things that you can use. As so much as you the want. idea so behind this, basically, what we think on this material here for us is like you are on a tour, you're on a bike ride, yes. you know, one week, two weeks. So you go in the hotel, yes. you wash it in the, you know, in the sink. Yes. You put it up. This one in twenty minutes is dry. Right. So that's the that's the the kind of uh, and the fact that it can be used over and over and over means I think a few things. One is from a longevity point of view, because the jersey will last a, a significant period of time. Yeah. And secondly, in alignment with your environmental values as well, the longer lifespan means there's less exactly. waste and need yeah. to 
recycle. And there are a few tricks that we use during the stitching, you know, so you can decide if you use three or four thread, you know, and then uh, obviously when you're a big multinational, uh, you always have some manager that come in and say, okay, I'm going to be the leader, I'm going to cut the cost, remove one line. So here you have uh, not only all the stitches, but a, security, a safety line as well, which uh, is this one here, which add a more consistent, more structure to the, to the jersey. And it's not because we are better than other, but we really thought about the longevity on the jersey. Yeah. So. Uh, about the together. sizing, um, how do you do it? You, you do custom fits we, or we, do you have a sizing chart? We or? have a sizing chart. We start from no. a size that are all that, except, except for one jersey. So the idea here is you try, and this is the longest possible that you can have a jersey for uh, people like Rick, okay. because one of the major challenges for people at the store is find the right small size, yes. and then you have a top, you know, yes. like a woman. So you that's, don't want to have that's that. always a challenge. Correct. Yeah. So what we did is I asked to the designer, you know, give me a long, a long design that then I can shorten yeah. based on the length of this, uh, the zipper that I need, and he did exactly this. So you can try this design. A medium for example and it will fit perfectly you know, or a large it will fit perfectly now this is a, a race fit we are about to race even the normal fit but for uh, for, for example in this uh, in this jersey I allow another extra centimeter you know to be a little bit more comfortable on, on the yeah uh, on the belly but it's still a very nice design this and the idea you start you try one of these, we take the note, and then if you need to make the zipper uh, long, short, you will have exactly the right size that fits you. Yeah. Right. And if yeah. people are ordering online, can they send through their measurements, or <laughs> how, how can you work that, or you have a sizing chart that they can yeah. look up? you have the sizing chart, but yep. mostly you would work it out. Uh, I want the high neck or the small neck first. Uh, we always recommend probably the normal neck, and then you, yeah, based on the size chart, they yeah. say, okay, I'm a, I'm a medium, but you know, I, I feel that the, the these are too long, so I would like yeah. short now, yeah. or the zipper, but yeah, yeah, that's the idea. Obviously, so there will be that, a cost for that, but it is, yeah. because it's yeah. time, you had to, to redo, but it is not that you, to have the service, you need to order a minimum quantity, yeah. like no. 10 or 15, that's for, uh, for and us. And also, if you yeah. want to add your name, like Yeah, yeah that, that is more things, because to me, yeah. print, when you're printing, if I had to put a name, it's not even... Or a flag, you know, flag or whatever or like, you want, I want the logo yeah. of my mm -hmm. company, or... Mm -hmm. Are you happy with this? I, I'm, I'm delighted, I mean, that there's, there's, there's a bit of sentiment, my, my grandfather was a tailor, I think I've told mm -hmm. you this. Okay. Yes, he was a tailor in the bazaar oh, in Tehran. Nice. And there's something about going to a tailor and having them measure you up, yeah. show you the cloth, fit it to you, and then you go back and you see this kind of end product. Yeah. And this is just like going to the tailor. This kind of is beautiful. Why you don't try it on? It's a custom experience. This is your size. Why you is don't it, try it? Is it my size? Yes, it is. Yes. Yeah. 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 It's beautiful. Well, Probably um, a, a pinch more long than your size because so the neck resides here from. From, but this is for the raffle, but... Oh, this is for the raffle? Yeah, this is for the raffle, Beautiful. but it's still your size, which would fit many. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah. And so your size will arrive here, to the zipper. Right. But it's still a black. Very good. You like? Wow. Mm -hmm. Woohoo! It looks good, huh? Yeah. Wow. Interesting. You happy with this, guys? Yeah. Nice. I like. I'll give well you a Ricardo. Well done. And Lauren. And a wonderful, well done, magical shot.